Uh, it's great to be here in Montreal. It's quite a culinary city you live in. No, I've had some great food while I've been here. Uh, any, anyone gluten-free? Anyone living the gluten-free lifestyle? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Very good. Any vegans in the house? <laughs> cool, there might be more. Just everyone passed out 30 seconds into this show. <laughs> it's their anemic. Yeah, I could never be a vegan. I just, I love milk too much. I, actually, I drink a glass of milk every night before I go to bed, which is adorable. I'm adorable. <laughs> right? <laughs> but whenever I drink milk, uh, the same thought always goes through my head. I can't help but think like, ugh, gross. Who was the first person to do this? <laughs> Who was the first person to drink milk? He had to have been the biggest creep of all time. <laughs> No question, number one creep in history. I love thinking about that dude. I just picture a guy in a cave like thousands of years ago, hanging out with his cave buddies. They're all telling funny stories. And then suddenly it's his turn to tell a funny story. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I have a funny story. Um, actually, before I start, do you guys know those huge animals that live outside? You know what I'm talking about? They, they stand around and eat grass all day and they, uh, they have a big bag of boobs right here. You know, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Oh man, this is so funny. Um, guess it was like a week ago. It was like early in the morning. It was dark outside, that's important. And I was just walking around, minding my own business in the dark, and I bumped into one of those giant animals. And I, I don't know what happened, like I slipped on the grass or something. It doesn't matter. The point is, I was on my knees, right? I was on my knees, and I was just staring at this bag of boobs, right? And so I, uh, I popped one in my mouth, <laughs> right? Because I just, I wanted to feel what it would be like to suck on it, right? So I was sucking on, the, I was on my knees, just sucking on this boob. And it's not even a boob, really. You see them, they're huge. It's like a boob dick, right? So I was sucking, <laughs> just really going to town on this boob dick, just like tugging and sucking, just got in the zone. And I remember thinking, this can't get any better. And then it got better because it started squirting this thick white juice into my mouth. So I swallow it. What, am I not going to swallow it? So it keeps squirting and I keep swallowing and it's great. It tastes great. It feels great. And uh, after a couple minutes, the boob dick kind of, it kind of drained out. And I got sad. <laughs> and then I was like, wait, what? Why am I sad? There are like five more boob dicks. <laughs> and then I was just like... Just made a mess. I had to stop. I was, it was all over my face. I was full. <laughs> That's funny, right? That's funny, relatable. <laughs> His friends are like, uh, dude, that's fucking disgusting. Get, get out of here. And he's like, okay. Oh, it's disgusting? Well, it's also delicious with cookies. <laughs> He leaves the cave, his friends are like, what are cookies? <laughs> He's probably the same dude who came up with cheese, if you think about it. And clearly I thought a lot about it. I <laughs> had to be the same guy. I think he just showed up at his friend's cave like a year later and just like tapped on the cave. And he was just like, hey, what's up guys? Uh, look, I know some of you don't approve of my lifestyle choices. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. Um, but do you guys remember like a year ago, I was telling you about the boob dick juice? You do? Okay. Um, well, uh, needless to say, I've been doing some experimenting and um, just take it or leave it. But if you don't drink the boob dick juice right away, which takes so much restraint, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but if you just squirt the juice into a bucket, some kind of receptacle or like a, like a stomach, like a cow stomach, just leave it in there and just put it on a shelf for months, like way longer than seems reasonable. The, the juice is gonna start to discolor and fester and smell disgusting. Uh, but these solid clumps are gonna rise to the surface. And if you just kind of strain those clumps out and leave them back on the shelf for months, like so long, uh, and just really let it rot and then eat it. Oh my God, it is so good. It's so good, I can't even tell you. Seriously, I eat that every morning for breakfast. I eat the rotten boob dick clumps and uh, those food things that come out of a chicken's pussy. Do you know what I'm talking about? The... No, those, those are food. You can eat those. You crack them open, the boob dick clumps, top of a bagel. Mm. 
What? No, it's just a, it's a loaf of bread. I turn in a circle for no reason. <laughs> and so uh, thank you guys so much. That's my time. Howie Mandel here saying thanks for watching and please click on subscribe, share, enjoy. Do it now. I'm waiting.